following screencast will demonstrate how to use Acknology's automated pulmonary airflow analysis routine. In this example, I'm showing a pulmonary airflow signal. This was taken from a human subject using a TSD 107 airflow transducer. And down below we have the integrated flow signal giving us volume. Now the analysis routine that I'm going to demonstrate will allow you to calculate this but more typically uh, people will calculate the volume signal while they're recording their data and this can be done as an online calculation channel or after the recording as an offline transformation. So to actually run the analysis routine, you have to go to the analysis menu, to the respiration submenu, and select pulmonary airflow. This opens up a dialog box that allows you to assign the various channels. So we've got a filtered airflow channel, and we've already constructed a volume channel down below. Um, we could construct a new one, but we've already got one in our file. And then the important part is making sure that you're going to set the threshold to the appropriate level. Now you can use a threshold of zero here and each time the airflow signal crosses zero it will identify the signal going positive as the beginning of an inspiration and as the signal crosses through uh, on the negative side it will mark that as the uh, expiration. What I'm going to do is set that slightly above zero just in case there's a little bit of noise in the signal and we'll see how we do uh, with this level and we can play around with this if needs be. Okay, so I'm going to close my journal down so that we can take a closer look. Basically what the signal is doing, or what the analysis routine has gone through and done for us, it's gone in and identified the inspiration and expiration points in the cycle and it marks the apnea so we can see where the threshold is first crossed there and then down below in our journal file we have a table which is set up that provides us with a variety of measurements so this is first column is the cycle number so one through however many cycles you have the time the peak inspiratory flow the peak expiratory flow tidal volume, minute volume, uh, breaths per minute, inspiration time, expiration time, total time, and apnea time. And apnea time is the amount of time that the signal remained constant at the threshold. So we set 0.02 and this is telling us how long the signal stayed at that level for before it um, started rising up to the um, to be identified as the onset of inspiration. And then we scroll down at the bottom, so we only had 29 cycles here. We then have the average at the end. And if we look at the the data, you'll see that there's a number of cycles at the beginning where that we had no data and the signal was just hovering around zero so technically we really shouldn't start looking until we get down here somewhere now if you were to, if we were to do this with a real recording we would want to delete these out of here because they don't represent um, valid uh, cycles now there are some preferences that can be set for this particular recording. If I go back into the respiration menu and we can look under preferences, we can choose whether the 
measurements down below here are pasted as a text file into the journal, which is the option we had selected, we can actually graph each of these measurements as new channels and we can do both. So the um, measured values are pasted down into our journal file and they're displayed as new graph channels. And similarly we can paste the measurements into Excel and graph them and display them in Excel at the same time. Or you can do all which will give you journal, Excel and the new channels. And that concludes this demonstration of the Acknowledge Respiration Pulmonary Airflow Analysis Routine.